Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Yeah. Hello, everybody. It's Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show. Happy Friday, everyone, and also Happy New Year. What I want to do and what I've been doing every Friday now is answering your questions and comments from the previous week's videos. Uh, and this week we're going to be speaking about uh, comments that were made on the video I posted by my friend Bernando, who's 108 years old. Uh, so we had a lot of great comments, but there were some people that had some questions which we're going to go over right now. And also, uh, on Monday uh, last week I posted a video with my friend Jeremy, who after being a vegan for many years had went back to eating uh, goat milk and, and eggs. And he talked about that and there were some questions and comments about that. So I'm going to answer your questions and comments, but uh, I thought it was good to start off this video with uh, a scripture. Because my friend Bernando, who's 108 years old, said... Uh, the most important thing to him, and he tells me this all the time, is his uh, Bible reading. He reads the Bible and he tries his hardest to uh, live according to uh, the guidelines that are found in the Bible. Uh, and I found some scriptures that go along, right along with him being 108 years old. And in the Bible, the word Proverbs means wisdom. And in uh, Proverbs 3.1 it says, uh, My son, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years and your life will be satisfying. And two things I could definitely tell you about Bernando. Uh, he's obviously lived many years, he's 108 years old. And uh, when you ask him about his life, he always says it's very satisfying. Uh, so, it also says in the Bible, uh, King Solomon, one of the wisest people to ever live, uh, said in Ecclesiastes 7.17, uh, Do not be a fool. Why die before your time? So we talk about longevity and living a long time and so on. It's very simple. Uh, uh, store his commands in our heart and follow them and he'll give us a, a nice long life. Uh, and Bernando, 108 years old. And here were some of the questions we had uh, about uh, for Bernando. Uh, somebody asked, uh, does he eat raw or cook food? Well, if you heard the video, the majority of the food he eats is a raw food diet, raw fruits and vegetables. But he does eat some cooked food in small amounts. So I would say the majority of his diet is raw, a uh, small amount of cooked food in there as well. Uh, what type of fish does he eat was one of the questions. Uh, I believe he said that on the video also. He said he eats salmon and he eats a little tuna. But he only eats a very small amount of fish. He said three times a week and uh, maybe four ounces. So it's a very small amount. Uh, somebody else posted a comment that said, well, if he's eating three times a day times seven, uh, the 21 meals a week and he's eaten only uh, three times a week fish out of those 21 meals three times uh, of those 21 meals are four ounces of fish so he's eating 21 uh, meals a week the majority of his diet is uh, raw fruits and vegetables uh, and he's eating uh, three times four ounces so he's eating about uh, 12 ounces of fish a week <clears throat> and uh, so that's not a lot at all and uh, he's uh, you know, we can't deny what he's doing is not working for him because he's not only 108, but he looks like he's in his 60s and he's in great health. Uh, another question was, is uh, uh, somebody asked about fish, isn't it contaminated from the oceans? Yes, uh, I'm not saying people need to eat fish, but I'm saying uh, people do and they're fine, uh, but some people do and they're not fine. A big part of it has to do with where the fish has gotten. Uh, and if you are going to consume fish, uh, make sure it's from a, a very clean source in terms of uh, the waters around the world where we get the fish from. I know many of the oceans are contaminated with uh, high mercury, and uh, Fernando says he avoids that, which leads to the next question. Somebody says, does he eat organic? And he says he goes to Whole Foods and he goes to other health food stores, and he gets organic whenever possible, which is the majority of the time. So those answer those questions. Uh, somebody was wondering if he uh, if he ever did any colonics throughout his life. Now we didn't talk about the colonics. He definitely said to keep the colon clean uh, and the liver clean. He said those are two of the most important aspects of maintaining a good, healthy, long life. Uh, and I know he's very much into Dr. Schultz cleanses and stuff. But as for colonics, it's more of a new thing. I mean, colonics really they might have technically been around a long time, but it really didn't start to become popular or well known recently. So not only did I not ask him what a colonic is, I'm not sure if he even if he would even know what it is. I mean, if I asked him about an enema, I'm sure he would know that an enema is cleaning the colon. But I don't know if you know that. So I, I don't think he does it. But I didn't ask him that. Uh, going on, uh, we did an interview with uh, Jeremy Safran, and uh, he spoke about not being a vegan anymore. 
uh, and which was quite interesting because Fernando was 108 years old. He isn't a vegan, and he has never been. He said he always ate some fish, or but the majority of his diet is fruits and vegetables. And either way, if you're a vegan or eating uh, animal products or even animals, I have found that I always claim the major issue was overeating. Overeating is a big problem, and that's what we really need to work on. I have found a daylight diet to be the healthiest way to eat, and uh, I talk about that a lot in other videos, and so that's what I recommend. Uh, another thing is, uh, somebody asked me uh, my reasoning for, uh, they said, if I had high cholesterol, which I told people I did, why would I go from eating a vegan diet to eating a goat milk? Well, one of the reasons why I had high cholesterol uh, or, or an issue, and I explained, uh, is uh, when, I, when I was eating a vegan diet, I just couldn't stop eating. I was just never satisfied, and I just always wanted to eat more and more and more, either consciously or subconsciously. That's what I see most people on a raw vegan diet doing. Uh, but when I went to add uh, some uh, milk, even though it's, it's high in fat, but it's also high in uh, uh, the essential fatty acids, which our body needs, which I wasn't possibly not getting on a vegan diet all the time. Uh, uh, but uh, so the fat, you know, and just the milk in general satiated me a lot more where uh, I can go without overeating. So I was actually able to eat less when I had a small amount of milk in my diet. Uh, and uh, of course it was raw goat milk. It wasn't uh, cooked, drugged up, processed milk that's in the store. And that was the major issue for me. So uh, I understand on paper somebody would say, well, if you have high cholesterol, it doesn't make sense to add more fat to your diet. Uh, but there are many different types of fats out there, and uh, you know, and most of the people I know, uh, if you are a raw vegan and you are not overeating on fat, you're most likely overdoing uh, the sugar. You're probably doing way too much fruit, and we have to understand it takes a lot of energy to digest uh, all foods, and it takes the least amount of energy to digest, to digest uh, fruit. Fruit is the easily digested food out there. However, if we eat an abundance of it, you know, especially at one time. Well, the body's still going to have to work a hard time to digest that, you know. The ideal way to do it would be to eat small amounts of fruit, <clears throat> small amounts of goat milk, small amounts of anything. Uh, we shouldn't eat a lot in any meal, and, uh, and that's the ideal way to do it. But whether it's uh, meat or fruit or whatever, if you're eating a lot in one sitting, uh, it takes a lot of work for your body to digest that. Another question we have, somebody asked my uh, opinion. They say uh, a lot of their health habits are based out of fear. Uh, and, 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 you know, that's not a good thing. You know, if you're trying to do a raw food diet or eat healthy because uh, you're scared into doing it, well, it's better to do it because you have the knowledge and, and, and you know and you have faith that it works. Uh, and, you know, I have found from my experience things that are run out of fear, things that are done out of fear, it's just a matter of time before uh, you, you'll stop doing them. You won't be successful at achieving your goals. But if you're doing things out of faith and understanding, one or the other will do good enough, uh, usually that leads to success. Uh, somebody had a question about uh, how does somebody switch their perspective uh, from fear to gratefulness and appreciation? Uh, well, you know, for each person that might be an individual answer. For me personally, you know, I just, you know, I've always been a grateful person. It was just the way I was brought up, but when I really connected and developed a personal relationship with uh, my Creator, uh, and I read the stories and the scriptures uh, about, you know, you know, where we came from and, and what we went through before we got here and, you know, and how blessed we are to, to have uh, good health and good food and everything else. It, it really helps me be grateful for all we have. And especially when you travel a lot and you travel around the world and third world countries and so on, uh, and you see how little these people have and they're actually happy. And then you come to the United States and you see people with so much and they just never seem satisfied. Well, uh, just traveling has really humbled me and really helped me be very appreciative for what I have. And uh, I'm very appreciative for my viewers out there, so thank you very much. So, everybody, it's been a great year this year. I'm looking forward to a wonderful uh, year next year. If you have any other questions, post them below this video. And uh, I have some great guests coming up in 2010 and uh, some great things happening. Uh, I'm going to be having more great videos next week. And next Friday again, I'll, I'll answer your questions from throughout the week. Uh, so thank you everybody and uh, have a great day and a great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.